and welcome back to another vlog. Today's video is going to be a cozy day in my life because it has been cold and rainy for like the past four days. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving and I don't think it gets more cozy and festive than that. So gray and gloomy outside, but not even in a bad way. I've actually been really enjoying this weather and I just wanted to vlog my day and have like a really cozy, productive day with you. So I'm hoping to get a lot of stuff done during the day so that way we can have a really cozy, nice evening together. Before I can do any of that, I need to get some food in my body. It's currently 10.30 and now I'm gonna head to Central Market because I am out of milk and I wanna make a smoothie. So I need to go get that. And I think while I'm there, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up lunch. And then when I get back, we can start planning our day, organizing our schedule, kind of laying out the rest of the day and seeing what I want to do. Just got home. The grocery store was absolute madness. Everyone was trying to get all their stuff for Thanksgiving. It was chaos in there, but it's not really breakfast time anymore. It's like brunch now, but I'm still gonna make my smoothie because I'm starving. If you've watched my last few videos, then you have seen this recipe before. It's the same blueberry banana smoothie. I go through smoothie phases where I'll just make like one specific recipe like every single day. And then when I'm tired of it, I'll switch to something else. Before this, it was strawberry banana, and before that, it was mango pineapple. And I love it because sometimes I feel like I just want something like quick and easy that's like really gonna fill me up. And this protein has a lot of different greens in it and vitamins beyond just protein. So I feel like this is a good little immunity boost when I haven't eaten breakfast. Also love adding some cinnamon to it. Okay guys, just finished planning. For tasks, I need to reply to some emails, finish a, finish editing the rough cut of my video. Um, I have to film a sponsorship insert for my decorating for Christmas video, so I'm gonna do that right now. Projects, I really want to finalize my decorating for Christmas video to go up tomorrow morning. I also want to do a little study session of some classes that are available on Warrior Trading. So right now it's 11.30, so I think I'm gonna do a little bit of emails here, some quick work that I can get done and then eat lunch at like 12 30 and then at like 1 1 15 i think we should walk over to merit because i also forgot to tell you that i have some self-care things on here because this is a cozy vlog guys it is time for our lunch break I have some tomato soup here with a little piece of ciabatta. And I also have a little tub of some pasta salad. I was able to get some emails done, so that's all good. Hey guys, I'm about to walk to the coffee shop, but I wanted to give you the outfit of the day. It's very comfy. I just have on this sweatshirt hoodie from Aritzia. It's from their TNA line. And then I have on these Aritzia nude sweatpants with my little slip-on Uggs. I'm very, very tired, so I definitely need coffee.
watch some of a pre-recorded class right now on warrior trading, take some notes on it, and do a little study sesh. So I just wanted to update you that that's what I'm gonna do for like the next hour. It's currently 3.57. getting kind of dark out but some studying done I got some editing done so I'm feeling good hey guys I just got back home and I'm going to do my nails I want to do some holiday nails I don't know if I should do like the frosted nails or if I should do red French tips. So I think I'm gonna do a poll on my Instagram. And also if you want to know how to do your own gel extensions at home, I have a video on that. So I'm going to do a poll on my Instagram story to see what you guys think I should do. Okay guys, it's 6.30 now and I've finished prepping my nails. So it's time, it's time to check the poll and see what you guys have decided I should do. Majority of you said that I should do the glazed frosted nails, which I'm actually surprised. I thought more people were gonna pick the red French, but I'm not mad at it because these are like way easier to do. I just finished my nails and this is how they look. This is how they came out. I think they look so cute. I love the glazed frosted look. I feel like it's still like so wintry even though it's not like holiday colors. We're gonna mask and I'm going to use this Eminence strawberry rhubarb mask. Love, love, love this stuff. It always like calms down my skin. Put a little bit of water on it and create like a paste. I feel like when I was a kid and I would make potions, that's how I feel when I make this. I'm just gonna leave this on for 10 minutes to sit. While this mask does its thing on my skin, I'm going to do a little journaling session. I've been trying to do this every day again. I definitely go through phases where I'm like really consistent with it and phases where I just fall off. But right now I'm in a phase where I'm being consistent with it. guys i'm going to do some devotional reading i've gotten some questions about what devotional i use so i'm just going to share it with you i use this daily joy devotional by crossway i don't know it's by a bunch of different authors and it basically goes by dates and you read the verse and then you read the like explanation and i really really love this one and they also have a men's version to update you guys on my my book chats i finished november 9th yesterday i gave it like three and a half four stars because i loved the characters i hated the time jumps i'm not a time jump type of reader i realized that i hate when books do either past time jumps or present ones i felt like anytime i would get into 
Ben and Fallon's like story, it would jump a year. And I was like, why does it have to be a whole year? Like, I think by the time they were together, they were like 25. But besides the time jumps and like the irrational not speaking for an entire year, I loved the characters. I loved how they weren't like picture perfect. Like they each had their own flaws and their own troubles. And it felt realistic despite how unrealistic the storyline was. So I really like that about it. And I'm trying to pick my next read. And they're very, they're like basically polar opposites. I'm between Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. Look at how cozy and pretty that book cover is. It just gives me like Christmas cozy vibes. And Magnolia Parks by Jessa Hastings. This is kind of controversial to some people. Some people love this book, some people hate it. I wanna read it because I feel like the drama will be interesting when this video goes up. If I haven't started reading one, tell me which one you think I should read. Should I go wholesome or should I go like dramatic? Okay guys, let's do a little unboxing because I got some packages in and I wanna open them with you of course. The first one is from Rubia Wear. I'm so excited about this one. I've always wanted to order from them. It is three pairs of leg warmers. I'm so excited to wear these to ballet. Everyone has them and I've always wanted to try them, but they're always sold out. So I got one pair of full length leg warmers in like this really pretty cream color. And this color is coupe. This is a pretty gray color. These are the half length ones. So they just go up to your knees and then like hang down to your feet. And then the last one is this really pretty rose color. And this is the color meringue. And I got them all in a size small. I'm so excited to wear these to ballet next week. I've always wanted a pair, but every time I look for them, they're sold out. Next unboxing is from Free Prints. They're a photo printing service that lets you print photos from their app. So from your phone and they deliver it straight to your doorstep. And I got 15 different prints because I'm starting a scrapbook and I wanted some pictures to put in there and also just some pictures to hang up in my office and if you want to print out some photos from your phone then I will have their app linked down below and you can use code Annika15 for 15% off of your purchase at checkout. I just got the 4x6 size and I got some of Lola, I got some of Pebbles and then I got one of me and my grandma. Just some like cute pictures that I really wanted to have printed that I just never got around to but those are the only packages that I had to unbox. I was I'm gonna make a hot chocolate to drink while I edit. This is the best hot chocolate ever. No one can convince me otherwise. Cute little mug I got from Anthropology. Hey guys, I am so tired. It's midnight right now and I need to go to sleep because tomorrow's Thanksgiving and I have to drive to Austin to see family. Thank you so much for coming along with me today. I hope you loved this cozy vlog. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you want to see some more of my content. Also, tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so I hope you all have a really wonderful holiday with your families. And this year, I am extremely grateful for you and for this channel and for everything it's turning out to be. So grateful for each of you that watch my videos. I have so much fun doing this. I love you all so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Also, Vlogmas is coming up. Get excited. Bye.